Now, what we want to do here is use our home component as one page and our cart component as the second page in our e-commerce application. So what we need to do is import three things. And what we need to import is going to be route, route, and then we also need browser router. And these are all going to come from React Router DOM, which we installed as a dependency earlier on. Again, if you don't have React Router DOM installed, you want to make sure that you install it as a dependency in your package.json here. And from here, we can start using React Router DOM to create what is going to appear like different pages. And what we need to do is use our browser router first. And this one's going to have a closing tag. Then we need to use our routes here. And again, this one is also going to have a closing tag. And then we can specify our first route, which is not going to have a closing tag. It's going to be self-closing here. And we need to specify a path. And this is going to be our home page. So the path we want to specify is just a slash like so. So React knows that this is our home page route. And then we need to say what element we want to use. So we'll say element and we'll make this equal to curly braces. And we can simply cut our home component from here with control X, paste it here, and that will be our first route. And then for our second route, we can just simply copy and paste this down below. And instead of slash, we want this to be slash cart. And then we want this to render our cart component. So we'll specify it like so here. And then if nothing is showing up on your page, what you want to do is go ahead and refresh it like I just did. And you guys are going to notice that it defaults to our home component because again, we specified that this is our main page by using our path here. Tap here for more.